Welcome to another episode of Grub Masters. I'm John, and today we're going to do Dr. Pepper ribs. Funny enough, I found myself with a spare Sunday on an unseasonably warm February day, and I didn't know what to do. The wife is out, and I figured I was going to cook something up. I thought I'd try something new and bring you guys along for the ride. I've never made Dr. Pepper ribs, but I've been wanting to do ribs in a Dutch oven. Love them on the smoker. Um, fantastic. But I wanted to kind of do some really fall off the bones, icky, sticky, sweet ribs. And so I thought I'd uh, just grab a, a baby back from the supermarket. I've got uh, an onion here that I've made some wheels out of. Uh, I've taken some potatoes. I quartered those down and uh, a few cloves of garlic. I'm going to throw it all in the pot. I'm going to cover it all with the uh, Dr. Pepper, and I'm just going to let it simmer low and slow. So let's get started. I take my rounds. I'm just going to place them right into the Dutch oven. And again, just take a nice sweet onion and you're just going to slice it pretty much into thirds. There's one. Number two. Again, nice wheel. And these are really going to act more or less as a trivet. Same thing with the potatoes. I'm going to throw those in on the bottom of the Dutch oven too, spread them out. They get some good potato flavor. Um, our potatoes are going to soak up the good pork flavor, hopefully some of that Dr. Pepper, and make for a nice base so that we don't burn if we get a little too much bottom heat. Um, so again, potato, I just quartered it, nothing fancy. and right into the pot. Okay, so save the garlic for last. Um, Tom Stoffer, a good friend at The Last Dog, he gave me some of his Tom Stoffer's Gourmet Pig Dust and I couldn't wait to try it and I thought today would be a great day to do it. So I'm gonna just take my ribs and uh, I, I have to prepare them first, I almost forgot. Um, you definitely wanna take this membrane off. And the best way to do that is to start from kind of the end that's got the thicker kind of bones, um, kind of the more squared off end and you just want to get a paper towel and try to get underneath that. Once you get a hold of it, I'm going to try and get the whole thing and just give it a nice tug. And it should come off in a nice sheet like that. Um, the paper towel really helps you to get a handle on it and just makes for easy work. Without it, you're kind of slipping and sliding all over. So hopefully that's a tip that works for you as well. Um, pig dust is going to give it a liberal sprinkling. Uh, this has all kinds of different peppers, um, cayenne, let's see, it says uh, roasted sugar, Lowry's garlic salt, Hungarian paprika, granulated garlic, roasted garlic granules, onion powder, mustard powder, gourmet fresh seven pepper, smoked paprika, celery salt, and chili powder. So um, definitely sounds like good stuff. And this is really the only seasoning that I'm going to put in the pot and give it a pretty good coat. And now what I want to do is kind of rub that in a little bit. I flip it over so I could see the bones and I'm going to kind of slice this into manageable chunks for the Dutch oven. So good three rib chunk right on top. Nothing fancy. I just want it to fit in the pot. So I'm going to call that a day. Get that in there. I smash up some garlic. So just clove of garlic, nice fresh clove. Give it a good smash. Maybe just a quick rough chop. And I'm just going to sprinkle those on top. So plenty of aromatics. I got my potatoes in there. And now I'm just going to kind of cover it with the Dr. Pepper. When the coals are ready, I'll show you how I'm going to place them. All right, coals are nice and hot, so it's time for the placement. And this is gonna be pretty easy today. So we're gonna use the ring method like we usually do, but I'm not really baking, I'm more kind of braising. So I'm gonna put down a, a ring of coals, but I'm gonna go just a little light.
So again, on the bottom, just a little light on the coals. Because this is going to be in here for a little while. I'm thinking it's going to be an hour and a half, two hours. Doing a little more top heat than bottom heat. And that's about it. So now it's really just a game of patience and coal management. Trying to keep my ring going, keep some coals in the hopper ready to go. Let's check in on the ribs. Wow, they are smelling good. Um, the top is browning up nice. Um, I'm not really quite getting the bubbling from the bottom that I want, so it is a little bit cooler today. A little windy too, so I think I'm going to throw a few extra coals on the bottom um, and maybe do a little bit more of a full ring. And these are mostly done too, so get a little more on top. The ring's not pretty, but that's okay. Just keep it going. Just keep that ring fortified. And uh, let me replenish my coals. So uh, I'm going to throw together a quick uh, Dr. Pepper infused barbecue sauce here. It's basically going to be a cup of Dr. Pepper, about a cup of uh, ketchup, keep it simple, a cup of brown sugar. I throw in a tablespoon of uh, garlic because I love garlic and uh, about a, a teaspoon of cayenne. I want to kick it up a little bit and uh, a couple dashes of Worcestershire. So let's get that going. This is still just a little bit loose, but I think, I don't know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a little bit of this onto those ribs and, and have it act a little bit like a glaze, and I'll reserve some later for, uh, you know, more of a traditional barbecue sauce. So, um, yeah, let's throw some on. Well, I told you I was winging it today. I'm just having some fun. Um, I don't know. Uh, they look pretty good. I'm going to give them another hour. I want them to be, you know, pretty tender. Um, until then, I'm just going to tend to this barbecue sauce, keep the heat going. We are right at the two hour mark. I just checked in on the ribs. I probed them and they went in like butter. It was at like 207. Um, these babies are ready to come off. I'm a little surprised that they went that fast. I thought they'd go a little longer to be that. Again, I want it fall off the bone. Um, let's dig in. Oh, that looks good. See how the potatoes and the onions held up? Oh, not too bad. I was a little afraid that the potatoes would get, you know, like disintegration, uh, disintegrated. Let's get a little drizzle of this on there. Can't wait. 
little hot. Sure. They're moist. Wow, these are good. Got a nice bite to it too. Mm -mm -mm. That glaze, that sauce, nice and sweet. Um, you get a little bit of, a little nice balanced flavor from that rub. And um, it's kind of got a little chitry flavor to it from the Dr. Pepper, it's good. Mmm. Ouch. They're hot though. Mm. Now Chris is upset he couldn't make it today. Now again, I use those onions more as a, you know, a standoff from the bottom and more of an insurance policy, but they're nothing like a good, mm, kind of stewed onion. That's good. Two potatoes are shot. A little sauce on there. This was fantastic. Flung it together. Almost zero contemplation on this one. I went and I bought some ribs. I'd seen some stuff on the internet about the Dr. Pepper ribs. Um, kind of made up my own sauce. Very easy. Most barbecue sauces are brown sugar, ketchup, and you throw in a bunch of other stuff. Instead of, uh, you know, I use Dr. Pepper as the liquid base. Really good. Super easy. Two hours. Maintain your coals. Get out there and cook. Give us a like. Give us a share. Throw a comment down below. We'll see you next time. Clean Bone Club.